All right, this is going to be <clears throat> as quick as I can do it, and this is going to be a little crappy just because I'm on my cell phone. I don't have a tripod or anything down here near my layout. But uh, this is the Technic Power Up Hub. Um, basically, these alligator clips go directly to the positive and negative battery terminals uh, inside of here. Um, <clears throat> and then I just have them clipped directly into the connector on the 9.6 volt, 2400 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydride battery. Um, this gives me, I mean, well, it depends on the mock, obviously, but an hour to two hours of runtime, depending on what I'm doing. Um, I have it in this protective shell I built, um, and this was the first one I did. Um, I did the alligator clips uh, with leads and ran them under here. Obviously, that post is for clearance and actually I need to fix it I'll fix that later but anyway I didn't run an actual lead that would connect to the battery correctly at first because I was really hoping that the fondly unit was going to make a comeback or they're going to release it on their own or do a second kickstart but obviously that font that fondly technic unit has been nowhere to be found um, and Lego has certainly not gotten off their heinies to do it so this is what i did i know that there's some people that have modded small lithium ion cells into it but they get really low runtime, and typically they're running at 7.2 volts this gets me an actual 9.6 which also makes for great performance um that was a big deal for me to have that extra voltage and that better performance because this was for an rc rock crawler build that i did that used like the power puller size maybe not quite actually are they bigger i don't look up the part number but very large tires i mean they're they're like this they're ridiculous um and uh with a gearbox i had set up and two xl motors um running it um and with it being all wheel drive selectable diffs it was like a big deal to have good performance um and that leads me to the ones probably more relevant here um that you saw photos of, but if I take this off, this is the high-speed passenger train. Well, not the high-speed passenger train. It's the... Shit, I don't remember the part number. Oh, I cursed. Sorry. But um, this is a mod of it. So I had to reshape the front end a little bit. I have hidden the IR receiver behind this glass. Now, it does mean that sometimes it takes a second to respond. Uh, but what I've learned is if I bounce it off a white wall, uh, everything's fine. Um, you can see here, this is an old chopped up Technic. Um, this is old chopped up Technic uh, power functions, power box. And yep, it's just smoothed together with hot glue and soldered uh, directly to the power wires that go underneath. Um, and then I just have a normal connector that all these nickel metal hydride cells use. And then this pack is elongated. I actually took this same pack, which I can find the Amazon link for you guys, and I basically just cut open the packaging on it, um, cut open the wrap, uh, snipped the, the connector that connects the two halves of the pack, and then I just folded it over on itself, re-soldered a new connector between the two, uh, wrapped it in black electrical tape with um, some liquid... It's called um, liquid electrical tape under the end, just to make sure nothing could ever contact it. Um, and I have stuffed this down into the passenger train. Um, one of the reasons why the IR receiver is hidden up front and not up top here where it normally would be is so that I can get the extra room to really cram this in there because this is a long battery. And uh, especially with this Technic um, <clears throat> battery box mod that I did where I chopped it up, and I, I could make it a little smaller, I just haven't yet. Um, I really needed that extra space. Um, but so far, performance is great. It's actually way too fast for the track I have, or any non-banked track as far as I'm concerned. And I mean, uh, I could try to do a little wheel speed demo, I guess. It's not going to mean much, but... Make sure it's turned on. It is... I mean, that really kicks. I'd say it's uh, it's a decent amount faster than when you're using AAAs, that's for sure. Definitely a much better runtime. 
and it really doesn't bog down even with all of these cars plus sometimes i'll have that one on there too um and i have one or two cars actually that are in pieces right now but um yeah it uh it really does well. I'm happy with it so far. I want to shrink it down. I also want to try to do this with an actual, um, like the smaller box, just because looking at the board, I might be able to simplify it even further. And if I can simplify this even further and get it even smaller, this would actually be more ideal because of the orientation of the connector versus this one, which is off the side. Um, which means I really got to kind of jam it down in there pretty, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this. Um, I plan on doing a little bit more in the future. I also plan on uh, modding the uh, power up little box the same way. Um, and or looking at at least for the stationary one, the maybe doing the usb power i know there's a couple solutions out there for that but i still again want to get like nine volts for best performance um the other thing is i could use this technic one and there's already like five volt mods out there or i could use this there and then just use brick automator uh or the brick automation project um which i do have but i like using the stock lego um remote for power up and yes those are very cursed these large motors actually rip the um battery powered bricks design apart eventually for me let's see if i can get this one to work yeah it actually rips them apart and with the way my track was laid out um they were too far apart you can see i barely have the room here but, uh, yeah, so I put this one at an angle, and that one's 180 degrees out um, with extra gears. Just didn't make it fit the layout. But, um, anyway, that's neither here nor there, getting off topic. But uh, let, me, let me know if you guys want to see more. Um, I do technically have a YouTube channel I could upload to um, if everyone's interested. Um, and hopefully I got some other cool projects on the way. But uh, you guys have a good one.